module 1.5, we're gonna talk a little bit about kind of what we mean when we say database and database management system and this interesting idea that a database is self-describing, okay? So here we have our uh, integrated data and our database management system and all of our applications that are connecting to our DBMS. And databases are designed to overcome this old file system or two schema architecture way of doing things. So the database itself is just an integrated set of files. And this is something that's kind of interesting and important to think about is even though we say we're moving away from uh, storing data in files, databases still store data in files, right? It's just that the database manages the data that's stored in files separately from the application. Everything on your computer is stored in a file in some way, shape, or form, right? It might not be like a Word document or a text file or something that you think of as a file, but everything on your computer is stored in a file uh, when it comes down to it. So a database is an integrated set of files which is managed by the database management system, okay? And so generally speaking, a system is a set of interrelated components, okay? And just like when I was talking about, you know, I consider all of these different functions or components within Amazon to kind of be their own little application, but then they all integrate together to create the system that is Amazon, right? And that's kind of what our database system is as well. So it includes our data and our metadata. And this is the interesting thing about it being self-describing and a very important point in that the data and the metadata or the data and the description of the data are both stored in the database. And this is what we mean when we say a database is self-describing. Okay. Whereas in the old school, the file system way of thinking about things, you had your data stored in a data file and you had your description of the data stored in the application. Okay, That's bad. The database being self-describing has the data and the description of the data all coupled together in the database itself. Okay, And that's uh, where our metadata comes into play to uh, be able to present the data in some meaningful way. Okay. So bringing all this together is handled by the DVMS instead of the programmer, okay? This is what's happening at our conceptual schema. So rather than the application interacting with the data itself, the application asks the database management system for the data and the database management system goes and gets it out of the database, okay? And your application asks for the data using something like structured query language, right? So within our database management system, we have our data dictionary, okay, which is our metadata, uh, one or more query languages, which generally, kind of functionally speaking, all roll up into structured query language. So we have uh, a data definition language or DDL for creating data, a data manipulation language for updating and deleting data, and then a data query language for reading data. But really that all just rolls up into functions of SQL. So generally that is the query language that we're going to find in our database management system. And then there are typically tools for doing things like generating reports and then utilities for managing uh, security, for importing and exporting data, uh, for converting data, backup, restore, performance tuning, and things like that. So all of these tools and utilities that are stored in our DBMS, okay? So going back to those learning objectives, the database itself is the data and the metadata, right? Or the description of the data. And the DBMS is kind of the collection of tools to interact with the database, or it's this layer of software that sits between the application and the data or the database itself, okay? And the idea of a database being self-describing is just that 
the uh, metadata is stored with the data as opposed to being stored in the application. And that's what gives us all the flexibility in the conceptual schema.